The emergence of insecurity in the country, which is alarming, has necessitated the Cardinal Nikon Foundation for Peace, COFP, in collaboration with Lost Terra Leadership Foundation, funded by MacArthur Foundation, to organize a national training workshop with a theme, The Role of Women and Women Organization in Promoting Integrity and Security in Nigeria. In her welcome address, the Executive Director of COFP Foundation, Reverend Sister Agatha Chikelwe, gave the essence of the workshop. Women and girls are particularly endangered and vulnerable on the account of security problem in the country. They bear the brunt of violent extremism in Nigeria as they have been kidnapped, raped, battered, subjected to sexual slavery, and sometimes used as suicide bombers. John Cardinal Onaekon, the president and founder of the CUFP Foundation, urged those in government to be up to their responsibilities in safeguarding communities. It should be clear to all that integrity and security are basic conditions for peace and prosperity in any nation. It is also sadly clear that our nation has been doing very poorly in these important matters. Although every citizen, every citizen has some level of responsibility in this regard, there is no doubt that government at all levels has a major and special responsibility to create the enabling environment for citizens to live honest and secure lives. The Executive Director of Lost Terra Leadership Foundation, Reverend Father George Husani, and others agreed that corruption is the root cause of insecurity in the country. It is widely believed that corruption is the single most critical factor that explains how such a richly endowed country like Nigeria could be so economically stagnated and rendered so volatile with widespread political instability and now social insecurity from north to south and east to west. Politics is being used to divide us so that even when we see ourselves first, instead of seeing ourselves first as humans, I see you as Christian or Muslim, Northerner or Southerner, male or female. And that has continued to keep us at this point. The U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Beth Leonard, advocated that empowerment of women is a key contributor to economic development. The status of democracy also depends fundamentally on the empowerment of women. Not only because the exclusion of women in decision making is a marker of a flawed democracy, but because the participation of women strengthens democracy. The keynote speaker at the event, Idayat Hassan, Director of Center for Democracy and Development, lamented that the country has been so divided under the guise of religion. I grew up celebrating Christmas, having clothes. Every Christmas in Lagos, there must always be a party, Christmas and New Year. It doesn't really matter if you are a Christian or a Muslim. We eat the food. And of course, during Ramadan, they celebrate with us. But these last decades, that has disappeared. The Honorable Minister for Women Affairs, Dame Pauline Tallinn, pushes for inclusion of more women in governance position. She thereafter declared the event open. We must re-strategize in order to have more women to represent us in order to address our issues and our children's issues and those yet unborn. Because the participation of women is the surest ways of a true democratic institution. It is therefore my honor and privilege to declare the Cardinal Onaikon Peace Foundation for Peace in collaboration of Lextura Leadership Foundation National Training Workshop opened on the role of women and women organizations in promoting integrity and security in Nigeria. Promoting security will make the society a better place to live in.